Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I'm here with another episode with the Five Ring Binder. Um, we have some fun things to add to it and, and stuff to do, but let's, uh, let's say hi and hugs first to Cindy, Joanne, Luz Maria, and Eileen. Thank you so much for your comments and, and, um, for watching and liking and you know all of that commenting all that stuff okay so I don't really remember where we were at last we were working in this book so we'll take a quick trip through and just sort of remember what's in here oh yeah I did do that I was thinking Okay, and then that's got this little card in it. I love that. Okay. And then, oh, get in there, you. Gotta go in straight or it doesn't like it. <laughs> and then just this page, this page that comes out like this has a little pocket there writing space on the back this pocket we don't have anything in there yet we need to think about that this pocket half pocket kind of this piece of paper um this little flippy outy business here we've got the envelope there and then um i don't know this is the flip so this is the flap of the envelope and it's made into a pocket. And then this piece where we put on the um, embossed chipboard and made a pocket in the back. Okay, well, we also, I think this was at the end of the last video that we had made this. I don't know that we had found a home for it yet. Um, I think we might well and then that flips over like that but that looks cool okay I'm gonna put it there this one and then I did a little project over the weekend and I want to talk you through it before we find a spot in our journal for it so um, this is the page the uh, let's see let's get a something kind of light. this is the page so um, as you know, Betty Butler had suggested hexagons for, um, one of these mosaic pages. So I did that. I used, um, where is it? I used one of these little quilting ones and I just took my scraps and I just drew the hexagons and cut them out. Maybe not the quickest. If I had a punch, it would have been quicker. But I did it while I was watching TV this past weekend. So um, so we did that. Did that on this side. And um, my hint for that was um, I had this black piece of paper next to me. While I was drawing the hexagons and cutting them out, I sat them on this on this paper to kind of decide where did I want things. And that was really helpful um, just to kind of as I went because then I could look at both sides of the scrapbook paper and decide, um, you know, is do I want this side or do I want that side sort of thing. And then I had an idea while I was doing that, which was what if I flipped the tables and I took one of the scrap pieces and I did black. Um, black hexagons and so I made a pocket on this side with black hexagons now I have to decide I think I'd like to decorate this a little it's a little too much black so um I thought I would look in the um ephemera and see what there might be that's that's a bit too big isn't it um I was hoping there was something that was thin enough. Well, that would be something like that, except for the bells are going sideways, so I don't want that. Hmm. 
Hmm. What do you think of that? <laughs> That's more what I had in mind. Something like that. Ooh, this is nice. Now that will have to go up and over the lace a little bit. Do we care about that? Okay, all that stuff's too small. How do we like that? I think I do like that. I like it better than plain, I think. So let's put that on there. So let's just say my idea was, I don't know, um, I, I like it fine enough, but it just, it just is too, what I could have done is smaller um, pattern hexagons in the middle. I was thinking of that, but to be honest with you, I'm over tracing, <laughs> I'm over tracing hexagons to cut out. So I think we'll just decorate this and. Call that a an okay idea. Okay, but I do like that. Do like that there. I am gonna go ahead and use Fabri-Tac, I think. And um, just because it's gonna be up on the lace a little bit. So, and I'll try and get a good amount of glue so that it sticks. But so I just thought we'd finish that one off and then I'll show you a couple of other things I did, talk you through them, like this one. Yeah, I just used the scraps of the black card stock that, from cutting down to be the right page size um, to do the hexagons. Right about there. Okay, yeah, I like that. I like that better. It's more decorative. Okay, so we're going to set that aside. I'll show you what else I did. Um, I grabbed just a coffee dyed piece of paper and sewed straight up this edge because this is the edge where we're going to put punch the holes. And then did a leaf pattern around here. They kind of look like, um, they kind of look like lights, like Christmas lights. I just had a thought. What if, what if, what if? Let me just grab a red, a, let's see, a green. I really want a... Yeah, this kind of green, a bright yellow, that's pretty bright, all right, and blue. Um, oh, here we go, and we'll use that blue, and then let's just... Do some coloring. <laughs> I'm just gonna put ever so slightly a little bit of and then we'll go green, blue, yellow, red, green, blue, yellow, red, green, blue, yellow, red, green, blue, yellow, red. You get the point, green, blue, yellow. <laughs> You get the point, but I'm still keeping my space. So three in between is what we're doing. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three.
One, two, three. Red, green, That's where we're just turning leaves into Christmas lights. So it's really cold here. We woke up to frost, as they say, frost on the pumpkin. And um, boy, it stayed for a good while too. Oh, that's, a, that's one of the threads, which I kind of liked the threads hanging on this. Oh, which reminds me, that's something we'll do here too. Okay, and then yellow. Okay, and then blue. Good, I was afraid this blue was gonna be too light, but it's not, so. Then the challenge is just to color in the lines. <laughs> Everything you need to know you learned in kindergarten. Be kind, take your turn. Okay. Oh, I like that. I think that's cute. So this side, they didn't really make light. So it's just kind of a, that's okay. It's just kind of a, but I like that. That adds to it. What I wanted to do is I wanted to put a little bit of Fabri-Tac at the ends of the stitching because I didn't go back and forth because it tends to rip your page. So I'm just gonna put, I'm just spreading it out a little bit. Just put a tiny bit of um, Fabri-Tac there on those ends and then that will be fine. Okay, so let's hang you over an edge. So then I'm also gonna do that on this one because I sewed around this one with lines a little bit too. And on this one, I thought it would be fun just gonna hang that over the edge but I thought it would be fun to use a piece of the ephemera on that which we might do okay so I can put all these away oh goodness I'm coming back <laughs> sorry that's quite the stretch okay then I got one of these um, beautiful pieces of paper from um, Triple V Vintage. And I think I'm just going to do, I'm going to leave it like this. You can take it out of the book to write on, but I couldn't sacrifice those inside pages because they're just too beautiful. So where's my punch? Let's, let's do a couple things. And then I have another piece that I want to make for this. So we'll do that. Get these in there. I don't know. We may be getting close to being done and or doing, you know, the last bit of decorating like that one pocket needs a, needs some sort of a something in it. Okay, so, and then that is going to need some um, which we call it hole reinforcers. So I am just going to gonna take my ink distressor and turn these white ones into into distressed ones. 
I never use white. I mean, I guess there could be an occasion where I would, but I normally don't, so I just ink them up. I mean, we could have inked up some green and red ones, I suppose, but I don't know. Kind of want the... In this case, for sure, I want the paper to be the star of the show. Okay, so do just pop these on. And I think we're okay to just put them on this side and the other side rather than also putting them in here. I don't think we need to do that. I think we'll be okay. But this way, with some of this paper, there's lots of room to write or whatever. Um, make lists, talk about your day, whatever it might be. Okay. So that one is all ready to go. We need to punch the ones that I sewed. Um, so we'll do that. This one needs decorating. But see, by using the straight one down that way now, I can punch my holes without getting the, um, the sewing. You don't want to do that. Okay. I am going to use these on this one too. I think they look kind of neat too. So. almost dry on the ends of the thread. one's ready to go in the book. This one, I like that. I'm glad we colored those. That was fun. Okay. Go ahead and put these on there too. I don't know, guys. We could be getting this, might be the last one of our. I don't know. We have a couple more things I wanted to make though. <laughs> Maybe this is the second to the last one. I don't know. I just keep going, don't I? It's just. It's hard to stop. It's just too much fun. But I am getting excited to get on to some of the other journals that I wanted to make too. So we'll see. Okay. So there's that one. All right. Let's take, uh, once again, take a look at our book and let's fit these four pages in. Uh, where I'm not sure. Let's see, there's that. Would... Ooh, I kind of like that. So, just push this over. Put this here. This is real good 
thick cardstock, so I'm not worrying about hole reinforcers on it. Yeah, I like how that black and that and the poinsettias. Yes! Love it when a plan comes together. So, um, that one. Really like that across from each other, like that. So, let's put. It's like there's no place that I want to put plain ones, plain papers. Maybe I'll put one behind this one, like... That's, I don't think a whole lot of that's going to show, but let's see. Ah! My whole reinforcer came off. Should have probably glued those because they're going on over the um, stitching, which I could go back and do. Okay, let's just see. Yes, you can see that just the very edge, and that's kind of fun and decorative. Okay. I like how all that looks. So... This I don't care as much about, so I think I'm going to put, you. that's too much, so I think I'll put this here, and well, and the happy thing about these kind of books is the eventual owner of the journal can arrange it however they would want to. Okay, I'll put that one there. Okay. Oh, let's see how, how are we doing thickness-wise. We're doing pretty good. Okay, what I wanted to do is take this beautiful dyed envelope and I'm going to punch holes in it. First things first. And I think we'll put the hole reinforcers on it. Okay, and then I want to figure out an ephemera piece to put on it, right like that. And then it will open and can have something on the inside too. A journal card or whatever. Oh, I know what we might put in there. Um, have an idea. But we have to do the utilitarian parts first. Gosh, we about used up a whole sheet of hole reinforcers with what we had made up. That's kind of exciting. Okay, so what I am thinking is we have this piece here, this matchbook, matchbook um, paper pad. So I think I might put this in the envelope. Because, yeah, that will sit just nicely. Okay. But I would like something here. I'm wondering about that one 
big piece of ephemera that doesn't fit anywhere else. I mean, could you, well. Hmm. Or do I want to put like a strip of the, what do I have for scraps of the, of the, um, printed paper? Let's see. Ooh, there's that. Hang on. i get some things out of my way here. There's this. It is so pretty, but it's a bit wide. Isn't it? Because I do like the curly cues on that. Cut it. I'd have to cut too much of it, I think. Let's see. I also have this. It's the same page, but it's smaller, and I could. Okay, so if I put that there, if, what could we put on it? I really want to use this lady, too. Some lace, maybe. Hmm. <laughs> Is what about? That's there, that there, and her kind of there. She needs something behind her, like a book page or something. Okay, I'm just going to start and, and hope it all works out. <laughs> Okay, let's cut this. Oh, sometimes it's hard to know how it's gonna how it's gonna end up. Um, originally, I had grabbed an envelope that wasn't dyed, and it was just um, it was just white, and I was thinking of stenciling on it. Oh, which that reminds me, what I wanted to do with this. Well, let's see what that does maybe okay hang on we're just gonna move everything over for a minute and let me just grab this piece of paper to do it on I think um, I was gonna use some of this sheer shimmer craft spray it was in the um, Mixed Media Minnesota kit for the Yuletide collection, the November kit. And I thought it'd be fun to have some. Yeah. little something to pop it out off with. Okay. Now I need a bit of I actually have a box that I usually use to spray because I do tend to get it everywhere. 
of course I didn't grab it today. Okay. That made that a little happy, happy gold too. Okay, I like that. I don't have my um my ranger. I love the gold though. That really looks neat. Okay. So we're going to do this, but I do want to edge this. I think I'm just going to go with vintage photo since we've got coffee dyed paper that we're working with here. Now, I do think, now that I'm thinking about this, I'm thinking I might, I could put that as a belly band and put something in there, couldn't I? Like one of the, like just for instance, one of the journal cards could go in there. So with the lady, if I put her on here, I mean, she's hard enough. She, I could probably leave her hanging over the edge. I don't know. She's just not the right size. <sighs> this is so hard. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know what I want. Isn't that pretty? Which way does it go? I think it goes this way. That's a better size, isn't it? If you were to cut that out, could I put something behind it? I got plenty of time, so I'm going to mess around here a little bit. Let's, um, I'm going to try and cut this out. I think I want my teeniest scissors. And kind of just make ourselves some corners to... It's hard because this is, you know, a cardstock, the... I'm going to find something the right size to go in this, but I'm just going to try it. You never know until you try. These curved scissors are so great for cur little curvies like this. Then I'll flip them and curve the other way. I might have to go back and do a little cleanup on this. Oh, it's not too bad. Let's see, we need this to go this way on this part. Sorry, this is a very fiddly. I don't know what I was thinking. But I do have an idea. Do I do I do? And I have pieces of this everywhere. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. Okay, and that little, little piece hangs down. Okay. Not bad. Yeah, that'll work. Now I straighten it out. Okay, now let's. I don't want to use her because she's got all this prettiness, but I have, first of all, I have some of Jen's, um, Jen Bishop's ephemera from a year ago or something, and I'm wondering if there's something we can use in there. Let's see. I mean, I fussy cut up to them is the only trouble. Yeah, I don't, I just don't think they're gonna, yeah, they're not gonna fit properly. Okay. That's okay, we're gonna go with plan B, which is, when in doubt, go for Timmy Holtz. So what I'm thinking is these. Like, could I put one of these, like that? I mean, she's very pretty and she kind of reminds me of that girl. I think I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm just gonna Cut them apart. And I'm going to distress this. My sponge is yet again disintegrating. I'm going to need to I think I'm going to glue this on as not a belly band but a pocket this way. I think that's what I'm going to do. It's funny how these things sort of evolve a little bit as, as you start working on it. What works, what doesn't, that kind of stuff. Like that, okay, that's good. Then I am going to, I think what I'll do is put glue all around this frame right up fairly close to the edge, like so. Let's get some paper out here. And then I'm also going to go all the right way around her edge of her picture. Okay. And then, <laughs> and then, and then, and then, I'm gonna try and get her kind of centered. There we go. I'm gonna need to cut a little off. That's okay. We can do that. All right. And then we're gonna get her glued down. But we're gonna leave this edge hanging over. So I only wanna glue up to here, like, like this. Just on the edge of the picture.
Oh, I forgot the lace, didn't I? Okay, well, speaking of evolving. Do we like the lace or no? I kind of like it this way because you have the little dots of... Um, show through so that's okay we don't have to use the lace just because we got it out doesn't mean we have to use it let's decide on a journaling card okay super fun let's see I do like this one but I just wanted to See if there are others. Don't not that, not that. Ooh, her with the blue. Mm, no. Ooh, this one. That's the one. It goes with everything. Okay. All right. So this just needs to be distressed. And we have another page done. Can you believe it? I think I will grab the ink brush and do just um, a little... better. Okay. At least we have this side done. Yeah. How cute is that? Okay. Yay. I like that. Then this side, I think I'm just going to do another, um, I'm going to do another big card, but we're going to need to cut a little off, I think. So even though there's a lot of decorative paper, a lot of decorating, there's still... Um, oh, yeah, no, we don't have to cut it off at all. There's still a lot of room for journaling because, you know, this card, you could journal all on here if you wanted. Um, let's figure out something to put here as kind of a closure. Get, get these back out. I mean, just something little, like maybe, like maybe these. Just kind of go like that. Yep. Okay, and I think what I'll do is just glue from there down. Yep, like that. I'm debating if I want some stickles on the ribbon. Some cold stickles. Excuse my reach here. Oh, might need to, my 
might need to give that a poke. There we go. I'm just all sorts of sparkly right now. I don't know how much is in this one. I do have another gold if we need it, but yeah, this one must be just about at the end of its... I want the design to show through, but I just want a glimmer of glitter. Yeah. I do love Christmas because I feel like I can just glitter away. <laughs> I love to love to use glitter, but sometimes it's a bit much in the normal course of things. Okay. Okay. All right. But it sure does give just a little hint of something more, doesn't it? Okay. So we need that to dry so I can't put it in. Let's just kind of look though and see where we might. Oh, I was going to put this in there, wasn't I? Thanks. I heard ya. I heard ya. I think I can do both. Even more so the need for the closure. Yes. Okay, let's see where that might fit in nicely. I mean, I got that this book belongs to, so I really want to keep that kind of there. I think I might put it there. Yep, that's where I'm going to put it. And I'm just going to put it in and leave the book open so the glitter can dry. So, there we go. So, let's see. What else did I want to do with this journal? Um, I had other ideas for pockets, but what do we have? We have basically one kind of like two. Three, four, five, six, seven, kind of like eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen pages ish. Um, so Let's see, we'd need eight more pages to make it a 25 page journal. So I think I have a couple other pockets that I wanna do. I think I wanna do a page that's just um, a page with a belly band. Um, I want to use, where is it? I really want to use, can't find it at the moment. this. I really want to use this lace in here. So we have a few more pages to go. So this is not going to be the end of this one. We've got more to go. I hope that is fine enough with you. It doesn't break my heart. I'm having fun playing with this. So, okay, cool. Well, thank you so much for crafting with me today, everybody. And we're just, we're just plugging along. So I have a couple more ideas for um, scrapbook paper pages. So we'll do that next time. So thanks for watching, everyone. Have a grateful day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!